Hey, it's 22 from my house, and um, I got a comment today about um, somebody had a problem with water bottles, they were going to buy new ones. Um, I'll show you what bottles I use, and um, I'll show you how to clean them. So, if anyone out there has leaky bottles, this might help to stop the leaking. So, basically what you want is um, this part of the bottle. The rest of it... Um, it really doesn't matter, so all you need is this, and, um, you're going to want, um, a Q-tip, so what you're going to do is you're going to take the Q-tip, and you're just going to put it in there, and as you might be able to see, lots of dirt in there, so just clean that out every once in a while, anyone who has a problem, so, and just keep getting it in everywhere, get it out so that has a suction and yeah all that dirt and I just got this bottle like like four weeks ago so all that dirt just from four weeks and it definitely if you don't clean it out a couple of months there's gonna be a lot more dirt so just scrub it out really good and um it should solve a leaky bottle problem if it doesn't um some bottles just get old and they just leak they lose their suction but you clean it out, and the bead, it should be able to move better, and, well, I have no problem with that. So, that should work for leaky bottles, and I'll show you what bottle I use. Um, let me just put the cap back on. I use Petco brand bottles. As you can see, it says Petco on it. Um, just pretty much the medium size that they have um I don't know exactly what um ounce but um and that seems to work just fine so I'll take you around and I'll show you I had babies this morning we had a snowstorm and I usually get babies um when it when there's a big storm I don't know the pressure change I don't know but um hang on I'll take you around then all right So, there it is, the big pile of babies. Looks like there's about ten in there. And she seems to be taking care of them. I don't know for sure, but we'll see. And, um, there's a batch of babies with her mom. Those babies are like four weeks old. So I'm going to be putting them in, um, taking the wieners out and putting them in the tanks and I'll probably sell them um, probably maybe before the rep I mean the the rodent show so come on down at the rodent show and check me out in Reading PA you'll probably find information on Google and like I guess I keep saying on my videos I'm probably gonna do a video with exact information and so I probably will do that and there's my cat as you can see she comes in here and watch cat television. All the mice. She must enjoy herself a lot. And in that pile there, there's there's 20 mice in there. Um, there's three moms right there. There's two of them. One's in there nursing them right now. And right there, that, that's my female wiener tank. There's a lot in there. Um, I'm probably gonna sell some of these down at the show. Um, I'm not sure because I. I definitely, some of these babies are going to be down at the show, and, um, maybe some of those. Um, that one right there in the corner is Rex. So, I don't know if that's, like, a new morph, but I'm producing some Rex mice. Yeah. yeah so, um, that's pretty much everything. And, um... So these bottles would be good for American softwood rats and mice, but if you have regular rats, you might want to go up to a bottle that size back there if you can't if you can see. And um you can't really see that, but in that one right there. Um for the for the rats. Um I guess that's about everything. Um see you later. Um, subscribe, and if you have any questions, 
about anything that you that you see in my videos or I'll do my best to answer any questions or maybe even like this um I might do a video about it so see you later